Hi there. Ready to install your Easy Flush Sensor Retrofit Kit? Excellent. I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few pro tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But before we do that, your Easy Flush Sensor Retrofit Kit should include the following. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Begin by removing the vandal resistant stop valve cover with your Allen wrench. Shut off the water supply by turning the stop valve screw clockwise until it turns no further. Next, flush the remaining water by actuating the manual flush valve handle. Remove the manual flush handle with a smooth jawed wrench. Now we're ready to install the Easy Flush sensor assembly. Insert the red gasket into the end of the sensor assembly and thread on the nut. Tighten the connection with the wrench supplied with your Easy Flush sensor. Remove the battery tray from the sensor assembly with your Allen wrench and install the four C batteries as depicted. Do not mix lithium and alkaline batteries. Use one or the other. Reinstall the battery tray. Once installed, you'll hear the gears turn, letting you know that the unit has power. The Easy Flush unit has a 10 minute startup sequence in which the sensor will flash the user in view yellow LED continuously as long as a user is in view. After the sequence is completed, and when the sensor has a user in view, the yellow LED will flash only three times but after a five second delay. This delay prevents needless flushes when someone walks by. If you need to adjust your sensor activation distance, remove the battery tray once again and remove the faceplate of the Easy Flush sensor assembly. With the faceplate off the unit, reinstall the battery tray to activate the unit. Grab the sensor adjustment tool from its place, as seen here. Stand at the desired activation distance from the sensor. Using the sensor adjustment tool, turn down the sensor sensitivity all the way and then slowly back up until the yellow LED begins to flash. Ensure the sensor does not detect the stalled door or a wall by stepping out of the sensor path and making sure the yellow LED is not flashing. If it is, you'll need to shorten the activation distance. Next, remove the battery tray again. Replace the sensor adjustment tool and the cover then reinstall the battery tray. Open the control stop valve with your flathead screwdriver to turn on the water to the unit. Then install the vandal resistant stop valve cover. The flush valve is now ready for normal operation. I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support and check out our library of other how-to videos on our YouTube channel.